I'm here with Mr. Kostin Ryu from Kaspersky Labs Global Research and Analysis team, and we're here to record another edition of Lab Matters webcast. Kostin, I wanted to, us to look at the second half of 2011, and perhaps think and give me your top th three predictions uh, for what we'll see around, you know, some of the, the, the newer things you expect to see in uh, the second half of 2011. What would you say would be the number one? Well, uh, Ryan, for, uh, probably everybody agrees that 2011 will be uh, the year of the mobile malware and actually everybody has been agreeing for at least five to ten years. Well, I was just going to say, uh, we've, been hearing be that, we've been hearing that this is the will be uh, year. Since, yes. yes, but uh, you know, so you think this, this year, is the year, everybody agrees this is the year, the, finally we will um, see the outbreaks of the mobile malware that Why? we have been uh, expecting for quite a while. What's different and this year? I think that uh, the main uh, difference here is the um, huge growth and popularity of uh, Android uh, mobile phones. And here I think uh, there is also another aspect which is quite interesting. Uh, although Google keeps uh, releasing new versions of uh, Android and Android 3.0 is already out for um, mm -hmm. tablets, um, the mobile phone developers, they are not quite uh, as prompt as uh, releasing these updates for the specific phones. So we still have quite a lot of uh, mobile phones out there uh, which still run the very old versions of uh, Android, maybe version 2.1 mm -hmm. for instance. And uh, a lot of users, they also do not update the phones. So already these versions of Android, they have a lot of vulnerabilities. So that means uh, the uh, target base for the cyber criminals is not only growing, but also there's a lot of uh, vulnerable phones out mm -hmm. there which can become even more interesting for the cyber criminals. Mm -hmm. So altogether I think that we have uh, reached the uh, conditions, the uh, necessary conditions for, that, for that to happen. You know, finally for 2011 to become the year of uh, the mobile malware. Why is Android always more associated with mobile malware than any of the other platforms? Um, that's a very good question. I think uh, one of the main uh, interesting aspects here is the fact that there is the, obviously the Google, the application market, the Android market. And uh, now there are a lot of third party uh, uh, Android markets appearing so people can link their phones to these markets. And uh, those markets, unlike the Android market, they're not really regulated or uh, fully uh, verified. Vetted, right, right, right. So, a lot of the apps are never vetted. You, exactly. you really have no idea what you're downloading. Correct. And uh, I think that this is uh, opening the door to the cyber criminals to infiltrate these markets and therefore to find out to get access to your mobile phone and to your Android uh, terminal. So I think that we're going to see an increase in the number of mobile malware and probably the way that is going to happen is through all these application markets. And uh, probably the application markets uh, in general, they will be a uh, growing trend uh, during 2011. Just as the Apple market was launching, right, right. Microsoft is planning one. And I think this is uh, probably the second uh, interesting trend which uh, we will see during the second half of 2011. Uh, the, the, the value, the, the, the one thing that makes the Android platform and the Android devices so much more attractive to people is the concept of openness. Yes. It's that, that same openness is what you're saying, is the, the ingredient that introduces this new upmarket risk. Talk Correct. a little bit about these third party upmarkets mm -hmm. and, and, and how they play into this mm -hmm. notion of openness mm -hmm. and insecurity that ties mm -hmm. to it. And you know, the irony of that the openness is what makes it popular, so it's mm -hmm. kind of, mm -hmm. you know. Correct. Um, well, there are a number of uh, critical factors which are required for malware to uh, really become popular in a specific segment, right? And uh, these uh, conditions, uh, they have been historically tied to the number of users of that specific platform. Secondly, the documentation available for that platform, so it's important to have a lot of documentation which was the case, let's say, for uh, DOS, Microsoft DOS, uh, mm -hmm. 20 years ago. And third of all, it's important to, be, uh, to have uh, security uh, backdoors or security vulnerabilities. Right, right. Insecurities in general, they contribute. So in our case, we have the uh, growing popularity of uh, Android um, users mm -hmm. on one hand. Um, on a, the second, on the other hand, we have the um, huge amount of documentation available for the Android operating system. And on right. the third, uh, uh, we have the uh, 
vulnerabilities in uh, older versions of Android and the markets which right. can contribute to this ecosystem. Right, so it's just, it, it, it's, it's like you said, this is the, the tipping point that yes. makes you think that the second half of this year is when we'll see this, we'll Growth. finally see it. Yes. Uh, third prediction, um, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, one of the things that, that I've noticed, there's been a lot of uh, activity around law enforcement botnet shutdowns, a lot of aggressive law enforcement activity around, uh, you know, some sort of disinfection and cleanup of, of some of the botnets that do a lot of the cybercrime that we're seeing. Do you expect to see anything in, in that area in the second half of this year? That's a very good point, and uh, as you are uh, pointing out, the law enforcement has been uh, more active uh, recently, shutting down botnets. And what I think that we haven't seen yet is uh, any kind of serious counterattack, you know, from the other side. So right. the uh, police has been quite active shutting down these botnets, but we also know that the uh, cyber criminals are also quite well organized, and now they're working together on different projects. Mm -hmm. um, and what I think that will happen is um, some of these groups will try to retaliate. They'll try to fight back in some sort. So we may be looking at uh, some uh, attacks against, uh, let's say, governmental websites, mm -hmm. defacements, uh, possibly uh, data breaches. Right. The type of things we've seen when they fight back against the whole Correct. WikiLeaks versus... Uh, yes, uh, that's another example, yes, with WikiLeaks and the anonymous right. group. So I think that we'll have to uh, wait and see and uh, monitor some of these uh, trends very carefully. And uh, hopefully, maybe things uh, will uh, be better. Thank you very much, hopefully. And thank you for watching another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. Music